Hi everyone, it's Ruth here. I wasn't planning to do a live tonight, but someone on Artful Stamping Space asked me if I would. And I just have happened to be browsing Pinterest earlier and saw this gorgeous, 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 can you see that picture of a cake? Can you believe it? This is a cake someone has sculpted with icing sugar and, um, well, buttercream, I think. It's painted buttercream. I haven't clicked on the link yet, but isn't that beautiful? That's just incredible. Now, I'm not expecting to get all that depth of kind of detail in there. Oh, I've just clicked on it. I didn't mean to do that. Um, but I've gone and chosen colours inspired by that picture. And so I have, I might actually grab another blue though, because I'm realising I think I might need another blue in there. I've got lovely lipstick, Rococo Rose, Flirty Flamingo, Crushed Curry, Bermuda Bay, Pear Pizzazz, and oh, I think a little bit of pool party maybe in there. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to look at the photo now because I've, I've grabbed some stamps as well. And I want to be able to see your comments, so I'm going to have to just do that on YouTube. Now, anyway, hello everybody, welcome. Uh, it's been super exciting on my YouTube channel. I've just um, been been trying to figure out what, what I'm going to be doing for the next... Uh... Hi Sue, hi Hummery. Um, I've, I was trying to figure out who, um, ideas for the future. And... Um, had a lovely chat to a few of you last night. I'm sorry if you went to click on a video and it isn't there anymore. It was because when I went live, I did say I wasn't going to keep it up for forever and ever. Um, I was going to delete it. So I'm sorry if you clicked on a blank thing. Um, oh, got me repeating myself now. Um, uh, but one of the upshots of last night's chat was the whole thing about super chat that people can... Um, click and have highlighted comments so um it's not something it's not a prerequisite for watching me it's just it's there if you fancy supporting my work and enabling me to buy stamp sets for the future so here we have the stamp sets that i have chosen to play with yes they are floral i i i'm not making any apologies for that today i'm kind of going with things that make me happy uh, I've had a day of just sorting and computer work and stuff like that and I haven't done any sort of significant creating. I did make up some of the cards from the stamping that I did last night so I'll quickly show you those. So last night's masculine stamping, these were the final cards that I made. I don't know if you can see those okay, let's make sure you're zoomed in. So there's that one, that one. Now this one, I just want to show you a neat little trick with the largest rectangle die. If I can get it out without ruining my... I put them, I put them back really neatly earlier. <laughs> um, if you get a piece of cardstock that's already pre-folded, you can lay your rectangle die or any kind of large die like this and I laid it so that the cutting edge was just above the folded edge, like that. And because they've got stitches all the way round, it actually made the stitch show up all the way round like that. So it's slightly smaller than one of my cards, like the cards that I typically make. I'll get that in there like that. <clears throat> but it's such a cute little card and then it means that all the other layers match up perfectly if you're into that kind of thing if you're into matchy matchy and perfect layering then you'll die you'll love this <laughs> love 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 darling <laughs> sorry I'm putting on an accent don't know why um hi denise oh thank you thank you very much okay right so that was the other one then oh no those ones were from the other day those away uh, that was the other one. I stamped the Wild About You from that animal stamp set that I hardly use. I got it for free at a Stampin' Up! Um, event and I'm trying desperately to think of ways to use it but I thought it went really well with the pattern that we ended up creating on that. Then this one, I just, I cut that out because I'm not sure, I don't know if you remember, I made a bit of a boo-boo with it and just mounted it and just 
put a little sentiment there. These are all, oh, that's their ones from the other day. And then there's this one here, I just mounted. Actually, now I'll tell you what I did. I cut the picture out of the layer underneath. I don't know if you can see that. Then I cut a matting layer and then stamped it over the top. So there's actually a big hole underneath there, if that makes sense. And then this one, I just put a happy birthday and again, matting layers. So that's what I did. I finished those off. So I'll be doing a blog post with the video and everything for that. I'm finding that I kind of do these lives. I take the the content from these lives and then turn them into Facebook posts and, you know, longer Facebook posts. And, and then sometimes I'll do a fast version of, of my stamping so that if you want to reference back, you don't have to watch this whole long video, but you can watch a fast version. So let me know if you think that's OK um, or if you've got any suggestions for how I do the content. Um, I'm just finding that for me, it's it's a better way for me to work. Uh, although I in the past enjoy kind of creating projects, filming them and putting them up, I'm finding that creatively I'm getting so much more inspiration from actually doing a live and chatting to you and getting feedback and then creating more content from the live rather than doing it the other way around. So, um, yeah, there we go. It's just, it's just really interesting, this whole journey into YouTube. Let's get stamping. I'll stop talking now. Get some cardstock. So hello and welcome and I've got a few people watching. Do say hello and where you're from. It's always nice to know whether I should be saying good morning or good, <laughs> good night or good afternoon. So in that picture we had a fairly large flower and I'm tempted to use that one because that seems to be the closest one. And it was a fairly bright pink and then my other thought was for getting some colour down before I stamp this, I was going to get the crushed curry and actually I thought I had a dauber on here somewhere. No, oh, maybe not. Okay. I'm just going to clean off my little brush here. Um, okay, now usually I would have an idea of where I'm going with this, but because I don't. I, 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 yeah, this might be a bit more itsy bitsy for me. Let's just um, let's just have a go and see what happens. Oh look, I can tell I've already put my fingers on there. Right. I warned about this the other day, didn't I? Don't put the fingers on the cardstock before you ink, because your oils transfer, and. Um, you end up with pockets where the colour doesn't go. There we go. Anyway, hi, Denise from New York. Hey, New York, New York. Is that New York City or New York State? New York's the only place, New York City's the only place in America I've ever been to. Who else have we got? Anne Marie from Ontario. Hello, Anne Marie. I'm sure I've seen you before in my lives. And Sue from Durham. Hello, Sue from Durham. I looked at Durham University when back in the day. I didn't go there, but I had a friend who went to Durham. Right. It will all come clear in a second while I'm doing this bit of yellow sponging. Okay. There we go. Right. It is because when I stamp with this colour now, I want the yellow to already kind of be in the background a little bit. That's my stamping mat. Just pop that underneath. And I'm trying not to touch my surface. <laughs> okay. Ink that up nicely. So I'm just holding that down. Upstate New York. Oh, Corvallis, Oregon. Oh, I get to know my geography doing this. Okay, so you see, I've got already got that yellow showing up. That's quite nice, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if you've checked out my little post that I put on YouTube earlier. Literally, like, less than half an hour ago of that picture of that cake. Isn't it stunning? 
So I'm probably going to do something which I don't normally do, which is pretty much stamp all over the sheet. Actually, what am I talking about? I did it the other day. But generally when I approach a one sheet one down, I can't do it in a line or whatever. But actually this is going to be full and complete full on one sheet wandering today. So. So I'm loving the contrast of the lovely lipstick against this crush curry. It's really, really gorgeous. <clears throat> I couldn't be happier with the way that this colour is just popping. And I'm trying to be careful not to drop the stamp. So who has this stamp set? It's called Floral Essence. Although I usually end up calling it Perennial Essence. It's from the I think it's from the Perennial Essence suite, isn't it? And it has a great punch, not stamp. This well, stamp's lovely, but it has a lovely punch to go with it. Um, right. Okay. I am happy with that. Now I'm thinking I would like a little bit more texture into these, so. I'm going to grab out the little, little tiny circle thing that goes in the middle there. And I should really clean this off immediately because I just don't want it to stain too much. So, excuse me, just doing that for a second. And I'm also going to pop it into my little cleaning thing here to try and stop it staining so much. I might come back to it in a second. Right, I think now I'm going to... Oh, no, I thought I got out. The other colour I thought of using was Grapefruit Grove. So, um, you need this stamp set, Denise. <laughs> need it. So the flowers are lovely lipstick. I've just stamped lovely... Li oh, no, that's the wrong one. Lovely lipstick. I haven't got my glasses on, which could prove a little bit tricky. I need to. I might just go and grab my glasses. Will you guys just excuse me for ten, five seconds as I get my glasses? I don't wear them all the time, and they're not prescription. They're just like those cheap ones that you get from pound shops. But I find sometimes at the end of the day and my eyes just starting to lose focus <laughs> um, I just need a little bit of help okay so I don't know I don't know if it enhances it or not but bring you in a bit more what do you think Even with glasses, I'm still not getting it perfectly right. Um, I think I'm just going to do this bottom layer with the orange and just leave the others and see what happens. I'm not going to... I should maybe do that more often, not not always do it exactly the same everywhere. And then you can compare then. Right. All right. Now, I was thinking of using, for the leaves, we've got this lovely here. And then also in this daisy set, we've got this lovely leaf. So, but we could maybe do with some additional flowers. Because there was like a pinkier, like a lighter pink one. So maybe go for this one. Seems the most sensible. Hi, it's all about him 777 Laurie from Manchester, New Hampshire. Hey, cool. I like your, your handle for your YouTube. Your YouTube name. Very groovy. Oh, actually, I think I'll go back to that crushed curry. This crushed curry thing seems to work. So what about, we'll put a bit of, a little bit there. 
there. There. There. Okay, so what about some of the cocoa rose? Okay, now I think I roughly know where I'm heading with this now. Oh, I think I went a little bit too close there. I'm just going to make sure there's a little gap between the two flowers because otherwise it looks like they were like merged into one. There, there we go, that's that. <coughs> Put that one in that direction. You could just do one coming off from the end there. Maybe one coming there. Oh, it's looking pretty already, isn't it? Yeah, clean that, give that a quick clean off. Give a dab, dab, dab in there. Right. for this one. Hey, Mark, Wendy! <laughs> How exciting, a new laptop. Fabulous. Right now, I'm thinking I do want some, I don't want this colour to be so flat. And I'm trying to think how I'm going to make it look not so flat. So either with the extra um, addition of some other leaves, that might work. So I've got purpose as here. Oh, I've got to put turquoise underneath all this. Ooh, okay, hold on, let me think, let me think, let me think. Okay, you know what, I'm going to do Bermuda Bay or Coastal Cabana. Or build it up, build it up. Go pool party first, let's go light first. Build up the turquoise. So if you have seen that photograph on my community page, I think you'll sort of see where I'm heading because it's a pretty solid turquoise, isn't it, all around? And um, But I can't just plop turquoise into this, can I? Because obviously a cake is made in a very different way than I'm doing the stamping. So if I just add it this way by just getting lots of kind of base colour on first and then um, I'll add more as I go along. Oh I'm getting quite excited about this. Right. So this is from the Soft Spring stamp set which is a host stamp set. So if you shop with Stampin' Up and you put an order in of over £150 in the UK, you can earn it for free, in fact, because you will then get 10% host uh, Stampin' Rewards and you will get it for free. However, if you do shop with me and you want it and you haven't spent £150, don't worry just contact me because we can figure something out because I think Wendy have you got this stamp set now because you shopped with me and you wanted it didn't you um, and I managed to get it for you so please let me know there are ways and there are means and um, I'd, I'd rather you have the stamp sets that you wanted rather than not if that makes sense and I think uh, another one of my customers had it as well. And actually, I'm just about to send it to somebody else. Okay. You know what? That's pretty, pretty, pretty. If that makes sense. Pretty, pretty already, isn't it? Um, I'm going to take a plunge and stick some in there. 
in there. Oh, there's a space there. Sorry, I'm moving the paper around. Usually I try and keep it straight, but I forgot. <laughs> it's probably easier for you to see it not moving around, isn't it? Right, there we go. Right, so that's kind of a base layer of pool party that I've put down. And now I want to add some... I don't know whether to go for Coastal Cabana first. And then... Oh, no, that's funny. Granny apple. No, don't want that. That's coastal. Oh. oh, I can't find coastal cabana, so. So it's gonna have to be going to be bed instead. Right. Well this as it is is perfectly acceptable, I think, as a one sheet wonder. If anyone wants to take a screenshot of that and then send it to me, I would be most grateful because I can't stop and take a photo. If that makes sense. So um yeah, if anyone can take a screenshot, please do. And I just prep this now. Okay, has anyone has anyone taken the photo? Do you know how to do screenshots? Actually, don't worry too much if you can't, because I think I can do it later on after I've done the video and um, I'll just move it up so it's in in screen and then um, there we go right I am resisting the urge to go and pull down art artisan textures because I know I've used it so much so I'm, I'm resisting the urge to do that I think I'm just going to go in with the leaves and try and not go where I've gone before if that makes sense try and get different layers down Maybe go in slightly different directions and thank you, Sue. That's very kind. Saying it's a work of art. always use great colours thank you well Denise I really truly was inspired by this cake that I saw on Pinterest and that's what I love about Pinterest that you can kind of see something and it not be card related at all and then get an idea for a card so if you don't follow me already I would recommend you follow me on Pinterest because I, I do pin the odd sort of things um, I obviously pin a lot of my creations as well so you get to see my photos um but yeah do follow me on pinterest if that if that would help figure out where I've been before. <laughs> Not quite go exactly the same place. Okay. So if you start seeing gaps then do shout. So at this point it's just easy for me to spin it around and You're missing so much, just using your iPad. Oh, well, when you get your new laptop, Wendy, you'll be away. You can download the Pinterest app for iPad, actually. My mum has it. She's got an iPad. And I, I think I've helped loads of people sign up to Pinterest on iPads. You just download the app. Go to, um, what's the equivalent of the iPhone app store? You actually might find it's easier to use. Right, so now I'm going to grab out this 
little leafy thing because this is a good one for tucking into little spaces. So, oh, thanks, Denise. Hi, Linda. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Hi, Linda Davis. Oh, we've got two Lindas in today. I love it when that happens. Right, so this leaf thing here is great. Look at that. It's tucking in into these little kind of little areas. How super is that? Right, so I need some more blue here. See, I needn't have worried about getting all that blue on earlier because I, I could have used this, but never mind. Yeah, so I've got this patch here that hasn't got the darker blue, so I can look, get that in there. And I'm trying hard to not try and go over the pink, if that makes sense. I mean, I know a lot, on a lot of my One Sheet Wonders, I do do a lot of overlapping, but I really do want these flowers to be quite prominent. So I'm trying not to go over the flowers that much. Right, okay, so what about some other textures now? I'm thinking, what about this one here? With maybe some flirty flamingo. Let's see what happens. Hi, Christine, nice to see you. Yeah, um, Wendy's got herself a laptop, Christine. It's on her, its way, apparently it's being delivered tomorrow. We're very excited. <laughs> I say the royal we. Wendy we is very excited. Right, here's some flirty flamingo. Now I'm not sure how this is going to work out. But we'll just do it. I think I might just do a test a bit. <laughs> I'm not convinced. Here goes nothing. It's only ink. It's only paper. I think I need to go in with another colour. I'm wondering whether to go in with some of the lovely lipstick over the top of that. And then sort of slightly move it to the side. So if I'm, I'm hovering over the top of where I've stamped. Then I'm just moving it ever so slightly. Like that. Oh yes, that's better. It sort of builds up the colour a bit then. And I might just move it up a bit as well. Oh, that seems to work-ish. Try that. Oh yeah. Although I'm not sure if it detracts a bit from the central bit. I'll have a look at it in a second. I'll finish doing this. See what it looks like. Hmm. Okay. I'm wondering if we need some darker leaves now. Just to help highlight that pinky portion. If I want to watch and comment, it doesn't like working in desktop. It's very slow and wants me to go onto mobile YouTube. Oh, does your mobile you can you not comment on mobile YouTube then, Wendy? That's frustrating. But you'll have your new laptop tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. The laptop's arriving. Okay, so this is Mossy Meadow. I hadn't quite planned for using this, but I just feel like I need something darker to make the make sure the flowers are highlighted rather than kind of just disappearing. So I'm just doing some of these leaves. See what happens. Mm 
Okay. I'm kind of looking at it from the screen as well, looking on here to see um, how it looks. Let's make it a bit bigger. Okay. That's not terrible, is it? What do you guys think? It's very rich, I will say that. It's, you know, it's, it's turning out very rich. Right, let's try that again then. Just clean off the lovely lipstick. Just so it doesn't contaminate my flirty flamingo. You're in two minds, Louisa. Yeah, me too. But you know what? It's okay. I wonder if seeing it as a whole piece will change my mind. Right, so. I'm just going to do these long ones coming out of the, the threes. Because I haven't really got space to put them anywhere else, to be honest. Oh, I've run out of space. Oh, I should have done that one there. Oh well. Hey ho, there we go. Okay, uh, Kristen, take care. Hello, A1 Crafting, nice to see you. Thanks for hopping on, Kristen. Have a good day at work. I love how some people sneak, sneakily watch me in their lunch break or whatever. Okay, right, let's, this is the lovely lipstick again. So we're just stamp, stamp, stamping like that. This is great actually, this technique, because it doesn't matter if you smudge it. <laughs> it's kind of meant to be smudged a bit. All right. It's meant to look frothy. I really am going to struggle to cut this up, I think. Right, bring the mossy letter back in. Comments don't show up on the TV either. Ah, hi, Bobby. Nice to see you. You like you? I know we watch um, YouTube on the TV with the kids. And the thing that I, I don't like on the TV is that you can't make it go fast. <laughs> but if I'm watching crafting videos, I usually watch them at like one and a half speed. Or sometimes if it's somebody I know who I'm familiar with their voice, I'll even do it double speed because I haven't got time to sit and watch it at, you know, full speed. Hi, Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, I know, until you say, remind me what your name is, I'm afraid I, my brain's just, I can't hold all the names that I'm coming across. Yeah. Oh, Wendy, you were watching one of Janice's. Oh, good. Oh, she'll be pleased. She's really coming along, isn't she? With her um, subscribers and stuff. Right, I'm just going to pop some of these leaves beside of um, these the, the pairs of colour we have here. And then um, I'm resisting the urge to get my granny apple green out. <laughs> I will let you know that now for free. I'm a bit in love with Granny Apple Green at the moment. I just find it freshens up everything.
Christine, have you got Granny Apple Green yet? I know you were slowly buying your new colours. So Linda's watching me on the telly, but commenting me on... That's hilarious. So how big is your telly? Have you got me like full HD, you know, blaring out surround sound in your front room? What do you call the front rooms in America? Is it lounge or... I don't know. What do you call them? Right, I'm going to bring in a bit of a pear pizzazz for these pink ones. I don't need it as dark as Mossy Meadow, I don't think. I'm just going to see what it's like. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, oh, dear. I did drop it in the end. Oh, I quite like this pear pizzazz next to these little lighter pink flowers. They didn't, they didn't need anything too dark around them because for me, they're not the focal point. Um, which blue is what? The, this here, this is pool party. So I did a layer of pool party first and then a Bermuda Bay over the top of it. So it's got a light and a dark there. Hi, Vicky. If you wanted to tone this down, you could put vellum over the top. Yes, definitely. Yes. Yes, you, what would be nice I guess is if you cut this at say six by six or did a, a nice large um, card then maybe put a section of vellum over the top of it and put your sentiment on it that would look nice uh, Linda says I find this technique really interesting it's just that for me the colour combinations are not what you gravitate to well there we go yeah no that's you know that's absolutely fine at the end of the day we all have our own personal taste when it comes to colour and I am not going to argue with anybody about their personal colour choices because there are so many, oh my goodness, combinations in the world. Can you imagine? Um, and what makes one person kind of happy and and whatever can come down to all sorts of factors. You know, emotion, you know, colours give you a sense of emotion. And so you might associate particular colours with things that are quite sad or things that are happy or... You know, so for years I hated na navy. I, I could not bear navy. And it was because it was my school uniform colour. Could not bear the colour. But now I have discovered a new love of navy. And actually I prefer wearing navy over black now. So, um, but, and then there are some colour combinations I look at and they kind of make me physically sick. I, I'm just like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> So I totally get what you're saying, Linda, and um, I, I really am not offended if someone says, Bleh, don't like that. I have lots of friends, I think one worth watching actually, who hates green. Um, they really cannot deal with green at all. As you know, I think they don't mind it in small doses in other colour combinations, but as a colour, no, nope, they don't like it. But that's fine. We're all different. This is more of the older colour combination, not, not modern. That's an interesting point. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's quite retro, kind of very cl very classic. Um, yeah. No. Yeah, you're right. And I think with the flowers as well, it kind of you know lends itself to that. Right. Um, I'm just I'm looking at the sen this put bit here. I'm not liking this yellow showing so much. So I'm just looking to see if there's something that I can do to break up. Uh, um, um, oh, maybe I'll do it with a pear pizzazz. I just want something to break that up. And I might even put some yellow. I think I'll put some yellow centres in these just to lift them up a bit. They're, they're needing something. So let's just pop that there. Try not to really use these little stamps. Pop that there for a moment as well. And just add some little bits of... Not all of them need it actually. Just something, just to break up that yellow space. I don't like it. Okay, um, 
that's it. It's only, it only took a few little stamps to do that. Right, uh, that one. The colour, yeah, I've done a few different things on the colour wheel, Linda. Uh, oh, actually, it might be on Facebook. I did a colour wheel thing with my sister last week on Facebook. And there's several times I have kind of shown the colour wheel. Um, oh, do you mean this this one? No, I haven't. I've lost it, to be honest. Um, I did a tidy up and I can't find my colour wheel. It's around somewhere. Yeah. Right, so I'm just putting a bit of this crushed curry in the centres there to lift them up a bit more. I don't know if you guys can see the difference that that's making, but for me it does make a difference. Yeah. Hello Ellen, nice to see you. Morning. Have I woken you up? I'm definitely going to have to take a photo of this before I cast it up. <laughs> oh, missed one there. Oh, missed three down there. Right, one. Two. Three. Oh, and I've missed those ones. Oh, no, I deliberately didn't do those ones. So what, which ones do you prefer, guys? Do you prefer that one with the orange centres or do you prefer those with the pale centres? What do you think? So I'm wondering whether with a brush, oh, I'll get another brush, to do some pool party. You prefer it with the centres? Okay. Just gonna get a wee bit of a honestly it's like it's like a mountain here, it's like an avalanche. I've got like stamps and ink pads piled up and they keep kind of falling. <laughs> right, I'm just I'm finding the starkness of this very vanilla a bit too much. So I'm just wanting to tone it down a bit. I think I might need to re-ink this poor party. Oh, who's seen A Star is Born? The, the recent one with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Don't tell me the ending. My husband and I just started watching it this afternoon in our lunch break. And, um, oh, that song has been stuck in my head. <laughs> and then I've got, yeah, so the song that they sing, the duet together, is stuck in my head. And then the um, another song is stuck in my head now. Um, it's an old song called, um, is it? Whenever he, is it if ever he needs me? Da, 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 da. Is it from a musical? Is it from like The King and I or something? Bobby, is Bobby still watching? He'll know. Anyway, that keeps going round and round in my head now. So I need to go and watch A Star Is Born Again and get another song in my head. Yeah, that blue just helps to tone down a little bit of the, and this yellow that, obviously I, I wasn't sure what I was doing with this yellow. I just plopped it down didn't I right at the beginning so this is helping to take off the yellowness so for those of you who've just joined you won't has oh from Oliver yes Oliver stop it's perfect she says thanks Vanessa I'm just trying to take off the, the starkness all right I will stop I promise right there we go I've stopped that's it, Oliver. Doo -doo -doo. Um, Nancy sings it, doesn't she? Does she Nancy sing it? Yeah, Nancy sings it. 
Are you singing it about Bill Sykes, though? There was a damaging relationship, if there ever was one. Isn't it amazing, really? Charles Dickens, all the way back then, knew all about abusive relationships. He, he could see it in society. It's hard to think, isn't it? All these years later, women haven't learnt, men haven't learnt. Anyway, that's Ruth's political comment for today. Right, there we go. Just a few more centres, cent centres, Vanessa, and then I'll stop, okay? I promise. <laughs> I love it how she looks out for me. Okay, so if you make a boo-boo and you haven't lined up the centre accurately, this is what I do. I then just stamp again and spread the colour around. That's my trick. Right. There we go. I am done, I think. Should I stop there? Is that it? Orange centres, yes. Orange centres. Hi, Pam. I've just seen that you came online. Uh, who else has said Hello. You're nearly ready for work, Ellen. Good. Have a lovely day. Uh, you prefer the orange centres. Okay. Yeah, that's um, Grapefruit Grove. All right. The colour, my least favourite colour of that year, but I actually have ended up using it loads. So it's all about combinations. Don't write off a colour just because you might have a physical reaction to it. <laughs> you know what I was saying earlier about going... Um, yeah. It, I mean, I wasn't... about it. I just was like, hmm, it's an orange oh great but it, it's one of these nice oranges that paired with things it almost becomes a neutral I, I remember thinking that and looking at it and thinking you could almost use it like crumb cake you know it's kind of that lovely kind of peachy got a peachy kind of tone to it so I have used it an awful lot much more than I thought I would so there we go um if I go through the colors then that I used oh used quite a few colours today I'm afraid but there we go that's if you want the good results you have to do it um spurty flamingo gone not a black in sight I think sometimes when we do card making we think we always have to have black outlines and things like that but we don't uh, There we go, there we go, there we go. What a rainbow of colours there, hey? So we've got lovely lipstick. So are you commenting? You rarely use black Ellen. So she sings it just before sight, sight kills it, yeah. Yep. Right, lovely lipstick. Rococo Rose, Flirty Flamingo, Grapefruit Grove, Crushed Curry, Pear Pizzazz, Mossy Meadow and Bermuda Bay. Alright. Oh, and Pool Party. Alright, so if anyone wants to try that combination, that is what that was. So if you haven't got lovely lipstick, try Melon Mambo. Um, Rococo Rose, you might be able to get away with just using flim Flirty Flamingo. You don't necessarily have to use a Rococo Rose. Grapefruit Grove, if you have Pumpkin Pie, you can use that instead. Crushed curry, you could use Daffodil Delight or the old, if anyone's got, oh, what's that lovely honey colour from years ago? That's lovely. You could use that instead. Or even uh, that star fruit, oh, that was a gorgeous yellow a few years ago. Pear Pizzazz, mm, Mossy Meadow. You might be able to get away with using Old Olive or something instead. Bermuda Bay and Pole Party. I can't think of anything that I would replace those with, I'm afraid. Um, if you don't have those, but if you wanted to just go for a different type of blue, you know, you could do that. So I will take photos of this and probably make up a couple of larger cards with this and put the pictures on my blog eventually. I'm kind of creating and then creating blog content from what I do on my lives rather than doing it the other way around. And I'm really enjoying doing it this way because I get to interact with you guys. So, um, 
thank you very much for your company. If you have any questions, if you're watching this on the replay, please do ask. And um, oh, do you want me to go through stamp sets? Um, what did I end up using? Oh, I didn't end up using those. Right, so just three. Lovely is the day, particularly that leaf. I can see myself using that a lot. Soft spring with the those leaves and the droopy thing and those leaves there and then the the two main flowers from floral essence and the centers and a little bit of the leaf there we go that was it um, so thank you for joining hope you enjoyed and um, yeah a bit like that with terracotta I haven't got it yet yeah Terracotta is nice. It's it's a very warm colour, Vicky. I love how you look at stamps and how you want to use them. Well, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, Linda. Um, and, and like tonight, it really was a case of being inspired by a picture. So do have a go doing that. Look at a picture you like and then go, oh, have I got a stamp set that can recreate it? Rather than starting with a stamp set. So sometimes it's worth doing that if you're getting if you've got a bit of mojo block. So you're very welcome, Vanessa. Thank you for joining. That song's going around in your head. Oh, I'm so sorry, Wendy. I think I might just have to go and watch it now on YouTube. Um, thank, thank you, Sharon. Lovely to see you. Uh, Pam says yes, please. Yes, please to what? Uh, oh, I've forgotten what I said I was going to do now, Pam. Please remind me. Um, Yes, you, I, you use Knight of Navy where you can instead of black. Yeah, um, yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't say I don't use black, I do, but I know what you mean. Sometimes it's nice to have a softer, darker colour, like I use early espresso sometimes instead of black or Knight of Navy. Or even Mossy Meadow, actually. Or the Mary Mallow. That's nice as a dark colour. Right, I think I'm going to go. Pam, if, please remind me what it was that I said I would do. And uh, so you just said yes, please. So. Take care, guys. Have a great day. Evening, morning, wherever you are. <laughs> Bye. Oh, the stamp sets. Yeah, yeah. So you knew you saw them, didn't you, Pam? Okay, bye.